Repairs are still underway on Palmetto Street near UTC after a water break about five to six days ago. Channel 3's Angela Kim has more on what happened and how it's affecting people driving and moving across campus. We are out here on Palmetto Street where water is rushing down the street almost like a river and the reason for this water break actually came from freezing temperatures and it's also the reason why repairs haven't been made sooner. It's just not getting your shoes wet. UTC student Katie Cricko typically paints in her studio off of Palmetto Street, but this week she had to relocate. I had a minor leak in my studio, so uh, I had to worry about getting everything off the ground, but other than that, it wasn't too bad. Cricko and many other students and faculty on the campus had to adjust to a water break caused by freezing temperatures last week. With uh, parking, normally I park on the street out there, so that's been kind of blocked off or harder to get to. Um, so I'd say it probably is affected faculty that's parking up where the actual leak is. Cricko says she hasn't noticed any major delays or problems for people nearby, but says people are being more cautious when traveling in the area. It didn't affect my commute except for just worrying about slipping on the ice walking to class um, because it ran right down the street that I walked to. A spokesperson for Tennessee American Water says the site was manned overnight when temperatures were below freezing, but repairs are taking extra time, saying, quote, with the recent fluctuation in weather temperatures, we are experiencing main breaks and repairing them. Going on to say, we have continuously worked on a solution that will be safe for both the community and our employees and have minimal disruption in the water service. Now, we did not get an official day for when repairs will be completed, but Tennessee American Water officials asked that when you see these open workspaces like the ones behind me, try to go around them rather than through them to accommodate the workers. Reporting in Chattanooga, Angela Kim, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.